I, I, I listened with interest to something you said yesterday. Oh, really? No, that was this morning. This morning. And you were talking about rainfall amounts. Right. How right. they varied. And we know that was significant because there were some areas, Northeast Grant County, hit very hard. Quite a bit. Yep. But then you talked about the fact that Sextonville didn't have as much rain. Didn't seem like it. And you said, you know, my friends in Sextonville. Do you have friends in Sextonville? Well, I don't I don't really know. Huh. Um, I've I never. Wondered. It was I've, a bold statement. I thought that's true. I've never run for office. Of, I noticed know. that. Yeah. Yep. So I haven't uh, been able to see how many votes I would generate. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Just wondered. Yeah, and I don't know what my platform would be either. You know. Boy, that is interesting, isn't it? Huh. You know, an old record for every man, woman, and child. Yeah. In Sextonville. Although I, nice. I hate to part with any, so that'd be tough. You don't even have some that you could, you know, let go of without well, crying? Well, <laughs> probably have a few. Yeah. I yeah, don't know. But th then your platform, I've shed tears. I'm sacrificing for you. That's here. true. Well, here. There you go. Tom Jones. And I'll, <laughs> Tom Jones. And I'll buy it back for you, from you. For, sure. Absolutely. For a buck. Yeah, you know? yeah. Get the economy going. Yeah. That, but that would work. Oh, well. That that could have success written all over it. Sure. Yeah. I was thinking last night, though, how I I'm really, it's it's very satisfying that uh, you can prove people wrong, too. You know, because, really? Because over the oh, years, how nice. you know, when I was, uh, was I, I was outstanding in my field, when I played yes, right, right field course, yeah. for the Ithaca Bulldogs. And, Hi, girls. Yeah, exactly. Um, people said then that that guy can't even catch a cold. I proved him wrong. <laughs> I I can catch a cold. So there Just you go. Don't spread it around. No, I'm trying not yeah, to. We need yeah. a little plexiglass yeah, we between We need like us. a salad bar shield or something. Yes, we do. Yeah, that'd be nice. Huh. Huh. But huh. I, I said that about you. You couldn't even catch a that's, cold. That's what they said. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I mean those are those words hurt. By golly, yep. Yep. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but I'll always remember what you said. I, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I do, you know. Your mind is a steel trap. Well, it is. And yeah. June will say, I never said that. Well, you know, I need to get a recorder, you know. But then Take she the said, one home you got here. Well, I should. Then she said she wants to record me snoring because I don't believe it, you know, and... So I don't know whether I better take. I better leave it here. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> I could loan her one. Oh, I suppose. Just yeah. think what that could do for our sound effects library. Oh, that's true. You know, when a client was having a mattress sale, right? Or, you right. Know, the hospital was going to do a sleep study, yeah, something like that. We could we could use some sure. good, strong snoring sound right. effects. Well, I can probably give you some right here. So. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't even have to go home, you know. <laughs> Oh well, just leave the mic open and yeah. Studio B there. Yeah. What's What's the uh, quiz of the day? Do you uh, you know? Tell us what you have in your garden. Well, we have a little cabbage. We okay. have some kale. Oh, delicious. Oh yes, we have some beets and awesome. cucumbers and potatoes. Oh, good. And Zucchinis, onions. I don't think so. Oh, Not do you this have year. Any potatoes? Acorn squash. Yeah, potatoes. Oh, good. That was the first thing I planted. Was it? It's the thing the quiz is on today. Oh my potatoes. goodness. Potatoes. Well, potatoes, a staple of great regard. There you and go. And an anchor in the Philney garden. Yes. Yes. And on my did training you plant table, enough for too. All, is it really? Yeah. Well, did you plant enough for all of your friends in Sextonville? I did, but only a few came up. So, <laughs> you know, what do you do? I don't know. Huh. Why, that's too bad. I need to dig down and see what happened to that seed. Huh? You know? My, you're sure you got it in the right spot? Well, I think so. You weren't planting them with a backhoe or anything? No, no, no. no. Yeah, well, maybe they're still going to come up. But well, you never know. It's been a month. I'm <laughs> thinking it's looking kind of bleak, right? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm thinking that's probably yeah. right. Well, we have eight questions eight. for you today okay. on potatoes. Wonderful. Number one, the president who first introduced French fries to the White House during his presidency was John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, Calvin Coolidge, Millard Fillmore. Wow. Do you remember writing about that in detention? James Monroe didn't do it because <laughs> no, uh, I wouldn't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number one is in the books and we're ready for number two. 
potato chips. Do you we, like them? Oh, yes. You do. They were invented by Chef George Crum in 1853 in what state? Did George live in Massachusetts, Connecticut, New York, or New Hampshire? Wow. Wow. These are tough. Oh, my. But weren't you thinking about these kinds of things when you were planting your potatoes? Should have been. <laughs> yeah. Americans consume how many pounds of potatoes per person per year? Is it about 30, 35, 40, or 43 pounds per person? Take a lot of hills, wouldn't it? It would. Yeah. You'd yeah. have to... They'd have to come up better than mine did. You know, so. I think so. <laughs> that could drive the per capita consumption right down there. True. Yeah, indeed. Uh, what percentage of potatoes, this is question number four, are consumed as French fries? Oh. About 25%, 28 32 or 34%. Number five, one for the history books, Philip. Uh-oh. Potatoes were first, or first cultivated nearly 7,000 years ago, so they probably weren't using a super seed. Probably not. Yeah, no. Yeah. No. In a field in Brazil, Argentina, Peru, or Aubrey Corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> True or false, potatoes were not a part of the first Thanksgiving. Is that true or false? All right. Number seven, National Potato Chip Day is celebrated in what month? Is it February, March, April, or May? We've already missed it for this year, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, that's too bad. Rats, that is too bad. We could have brought in chips for everyone to celebrate. That would have been nice of yes, you. Yes, it would have. And didn't even realize it. Wow. Rats. I'll have to put it on the calendar for next year. Well, there you go. And number eight, before there was Advil or Tylenol, an old-fashioned remedy was to place sliced raw potatoes on your forehead. Is that true or wow. is that false? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Eight questions. Eight questions on potatoes. The likelihood that I'm going to cover up my dandelion quiz on the refrigerator is not good today. It's not good. No, I don't think so. You're not feeling superior on spuds, huh? No. I'm going to go with four out of eight. Four out of eight. Yep. A conservative prediction from a humble man with a cold. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's the nicest thing you've ever said about me. Is it really? Oh, yeah. wow, that's nice. Number one, the president who first introduced French fries to the White House during his presidency was? Millard Fillmore. No, Thomas Jefferson. That far back? Yes, isn't I that would amazing? Have never, yeah, ever anyway, thought yep, that. Yep. Boy. Boy, that lasts a long time. Yeah, that's too, too long. <laughs> Maybe you should, Mark, do not use on that button. I'll circle that one. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? It was a baby crying, I was think. Was it really? Yeah. Boy, that'd get to you after a while. Yeah, it would. It? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> or maybe it was me. I don't know. It could, could be. Have. Maybe yeah. it's you snoring. It could be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, potato chips were invented by Chef George Crum in what state? That would have been New York State. That's correct. Woo. Very good. Woo in Saratoga Springs, 1853. Wow. Jeepers. Number three, <laughs> Americans consume how many pounds of potatoes per person per year? 43 pounds. No, only 30. Ah. You eat more potatoes than other men. Probably. That's why you're such a he-man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That works. Manly man. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Number four, what percentage of potatoes are consumed as French fries? That would be 32%. 25. Oh, Ronnie. Yep, yep. So I, I thought that was probably a little low. Rats. 25%, yep. Potatoes were first cultivated nearly 7,000 years ago. Where? That would be Peru. Yes, it would. Oh, very nicely done. Yes. Well done. True or false? Potatoes were not a part of the first Thanksgiving. That would be true. It is true. That's right. Irish immigrants had not yet brought them to North America. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> Number seven, National Potato Chip Day is celebrated in what month? That would be March. It would. Yay! And do you know the day? 
15th. <laughs> That's close. 14th. 14th. That's close. Not bad. That was good. Thank you. <laughs> You're Thank you very much. Well, I've got my quota. You do. Well, maybe you can go one above it if you can answer the last question correctly. Before Advil or Tylenol, an old-fashioned remedy was to place sliced raw potatoes on your forehead. That's true. It is. Ronald. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's going to be a good day now. You think so? Five right. What? Did you bring potatoes for lunch? No, I didn't. I oh, don't think no, so. neither did I. I don't think they're in my TV dinner huh. today. I don't think so. Huh. so. Oh, well. Five out of eight, though. It's not that's going not on bad. the fridge. That's but, not bad. You know, it's... That's a better percentage than what came up in your garden. That's true. Oh, yeah. boy, yes. <laughs> that's hit and miss. <laughs> And then, you know, you don't you have to go in the book and figure out whether it's a weed or it's an actual plant. Yeah, so it's really that, hard that's to do. Tough. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, then did you have to help dig potatoes when you were a kid? Oh, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Don't dig so close to the hill. You're sticking the fork yes. through the potatoes. Get the Be manure careful. fork stuck right through the <laughs> potatoes. Yeah, I used to do that all the time. It was really hard to know where to dig. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> did you sanitize the fork? I don't think so. No. <laughs> Needed to boil it, you know. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, right out there, digging away. Yep, yep. Uh, Little manure stuck on the end of the <laughs> tines there, Ron. Composting for next year while we harvest this year's yes, crop. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you did that too, huh? <laughs> oh, well. Well, thanks for the ego boost. Oh, you're welcome. I'm you're welcome. I'm above average. Yeah. That doesn't happen Isn't right Isn't it now. amazing that we live to tell about all these things? It, 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 yeah, it is. We survived. Well, we did, yeah. What do you know? Well, it, it helped our immune system, I think. So. <laughs> Until yours just broke yeah, down yeah, and you got a cold. I need to go back and have some more <laughs> potatoes. Dug with my manure fork. <laughs> oh, well. Have a good one, Ronnie. Yep.